pro-Palestinian encampments are still set up on UW-Madison's campus more than 24 hours later. The university released a statement last night asking students to comply with campus policy and state law by taking down the tents. But since then, demonstrators tell us more have been set up. Grace Hodak joins us live from Library Mall. And Grace, protest organizers gave you an update tonight on their conversations with university officials. Yeah, Brandon, Amber, both protest organizers and UW officials are sharing what they can about the conversations that they're having. In their first meeting with university leaders, demonstrators tell me they were given a time frame of when the tents needed to be taken down before police intervened. But when I asked what that time frame was, they said they couldn't share that information. Also in that first meeting, protest organizers say UW administration claimed to have not read their demands and reiterated Chapter 18 of UW code, which says they're not allowed to camp on university property except in designated areas. And in the second meeting, protesters say leaders shared a copy of last night's statement with them. Then they told our negotiators to tell us to take the tents down and said that the tents were nothing but a symbolic way to spite them. Our negotiators responded by saying that this is extremely hurtful to say and that these tents actually represent the 1.9 million Gazans in Palestine that Israel has displaced from their homes. They say Chancellor Jennifer Mnuchin has expressed interest in speaking with demonstrators, but protesters say they will not do so unless the student body can also have a seat at that table. Now, the encampment site here on Library Mall is continuing to grow, and protesters tell me that they are prepared to stay out here for several more nights. Reporting live on UW-Madison's campus, Grace Hodak, 27 News.